Hey guys. Hi. Hey, how you doing? I, ooh, oops, it's, um, Princess Emily. Hi. Hey, um, aren't you supposed to be behind me? Did I make it in time for my ceremony? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I suddenly have to go to the bathroom. So, I, I, you know, Emily's, Emily is actually has no personality here, which is hilarious because it is so easy. It would be so easy to just give her this, this, this amount of personality just by the fact that she is just literally, she is 100% literally going to confront her body double is also a princess has grace and poise and and she's not she, she hasn't said anything that is not she hasn't said anything why now part of this could be due to the translation it does have to be said that because this was early JRPGs, the translation was hit or miss. Even now, a lot of JRPGs are hit or miss, but that's neither here nor there. Anyways, let's see what happens. We've been filled with 20 years of experience since you came into this world. You have reached the aid that you deserve, that deserves the succession of the Moon Dagger as an heir to the throne of Tablerblar. Never forget that the blessings of the sun, the moon, the stars, and the dancers. I mean, the, I didn't say that. I have not spent royal funds on dancers. Nor that. Anybody. I know I'm the king, and this, I have no doubt. I have no doubt within me that this is my princess and daughter. But are there any objections? I assume the silence to be the approval of the, of the succession, and also the fact that I will decapitate anybody who talks. Well, I currently have an objection to the succession. Oh my god, I have two daughters. Have I always had two daughters? Wait, I have three daughters. I am conflicted. The Moon Dagger. I did not see this coming. Tell me, daughter, what what is going on? Okay, uh, so she's fake. That's a that's a fake. You can tell by the um, the silicone in her chesticle area. Uh, yeah. So it's an M Emily versus Emily showdown. Uh, I am. I don't know what they're planning on doing. I believe there could be some mud in the future, but I do want to see two princesses duking it out and, you know, see who wins. Father, that woman was going to take over to Tiberia by forming a conspiracy with the Gingrich gang. Oh my god, I would never suggest that. I did. I did find out, but and then I. Yeah. Look, you may have have it in your hand. Dart, dart, dart. Do not say it. Do not say it. We know what he's gonna say. Do not say it. Don't. Just, just don't. Okay, okay. Who are you? Well, I guess I cannot run in this uh, stuffy dress. Oh, this will be a treat. I'll let you show you my true self. She's gonna just go rip. Okay, I was thinking she's just gonna, you know, rip off her outfit, but apparently, no, no, she's just gonna. Uh, ma 
magical girl it up? <laughs> Surprise! This is a true self of Miss Dennis. Dennis? Dennis. Dennis. Princess Emily, you gotta leave the room with the king of the other princess of, of reasons. Just go. Look, the gamers game is falling apart. Give us the moon dagger. Oh. Uh, I hope that a girl in love doesn't know the meaning of the words give up. By the way, I'm in a gang. I can fucking swim. Oh, interesting. So why don't you try? I, you know what? You know what? I kind of wanted her to jump off the off the, the balcony. But the good news is Dart didn't say it. Bart did not. Uh, uh, Dart did not say, "Hey, you're surrounded." Oh, I like her. She's so fancy. So let's just uh, get this over with. Now that I think about it, um, I probably should have expected a boss fight, and I should have changed Rose's attributes. Rose, Rose's addition. I didn't, which is kind of a bummer. But it, you know what? I'm not bothered. About it. Also, I probably should have taken on Albert as opposed to Congo. Congo does do a lot of damage. But, you know, just whatever. One sixty one based off damage of from Kangal. You Oh now that is badass. I love it. I like it. I like her. Can I have her on my team? I mean she already looks like a dragoon. She may be evil. What the fuck? I what? What is that? I gotta admit, she's actually putting out uh, putting a lot of damage. I'm a little worried, but I don't know why. See, she's attacking. She's very quick. Like, we'll give her that. She. Okay. So there's a weird thing in video game in in some video games where the female is always the faster one yes they'll do a lot of magic they'll do a lot of things but they'll generally be, always be faster than their male counterparts <laughs> i guess i guess the, the general consensus or thinking is that because um you know be, because uh, a female has to be well shapely generally that type of shape is going to create a smaller lister character Lith, in this term, uh, in this context, being a type of, um, uh, a type of a descriptor, kind of uh, small skin or skinnier, faster, you know, like like a cat, uh, or like a gymnast. The gymnast would probably be more lift than anything. Or, or in, a, in another context, uh, thieves. Very quick, whatever, and it makes sense. But even then, she always like oh, most females always tend to get the the treatment of I'm faster just because I'm female. Don't really care for that. But the other on the on the flip side of that, she's not putting a lot of damage. It could be because I'm on the un under level. Maybe I don't know. The other aspect of that is the other aspect of that is she. She's actually literally outputting a lot of damage. Like, almost I'm supposed to lose to her 
amounts of damage. I don't know. Yeah, because uh, I think this is going to kill me. Oh, it's going after Congo. No, it'll, he'll be fine. So I think Rose is dead. There's no doubt about it. Congo is actually guarding, yeah. so maybe. Yeah. Oh, Rose is. Oh. How? How do you live? That's fine. This is actually plenty fine. This is plenty fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. It's because while I may not have he any healing items, I do have a... I, I, I do have a, a revival item, which gives you half health, and Congo has just way too much health. So, if I can survive these next turns... My natural defense being Dragoon, it should be cover everything. That's if, that's if I don't just outright kill her. I'm kind of playing the difficult game right now. The, I, I have to output more damage than she can. It's gonna be difficult. I am very low in health. I don't think, I honestly don't think that I, I, I will be able to survive enough uh, for long. is not good enough. Single target. It's got to be a single target. I, I. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I don't. Angel's Prayer. Humble. Good. Next. Next. I, I can only have Kongo attack. He does a decent amount of damage. He, he may be my, what, my linchpin for this. Oh, fuck, I wish I had another, uh, another turn. Single target, single target, come on, it's gotta be a single target. Fine, kill dart, don't get a hit. Do it. Okay, fine, do everything. Just throw out like 20 spells at once. Son of a bitch. I will tell you, Congo cannot be able to do it do this by himself. So, <laughs> okay. Um, in give the dark. That is my last healing item. The only thing I got. I have to. I have to kick her ass. Yes. Go. If I had known she had that, that little health, I, you know what, no, no, even then with that little health, I couldn't guarantee because she is very fast, so she would probably end up attacking Kongo like three times at a goddamn row. Awesome, so I killed Princess Emily, sorry. Miss, I forgot her name. Miss Pirate Queen. Miss Lennis. Oh, you're uh, not too bad, I guess. I mean... Oh, 
Come on now, just give us the moon dagger. Come on, don't waste our time in, with this meaningless battle. Look, Ginrich is already dead. Ginrich, I don't give a shit about Ginrich. I told you, I need the moon dagger for my love. Look, admit your defeat. There's no way to, God damn it. God, God. Okay, Dart, I wanted you to do one goddamn thing. All right, one thing. Can't even do that. All right, because we know what's gonna happen now. Oh no, there's nowhere for you to escape. There's a giant fucking ocean right behind you. No way to escape. Huh? Hey, hey, are you over there. What do you think of that? She points at her, of course. Oh well, see you for yourself. Oh no, I'm just gonna jump over the fucking ledge into the ocean. I'm a bandit. I can fucking swim. Now that I think about it, I completely forgot that she had wings all along. <laughs> I can swim and I can fly. Put me up next to a balcony. Do it. See what happens. Oh, wait. That's what happens. Uh, close the window, damn it. The species that dominated the bygone world. Well, she's a survivor. Give her that. Haha! <laughs> People of magic who run across the sky with wings. Uh, was she here to take back from humans? Did I do bad by letting a wingling live as my daughter for six months without actually thinking that there might be something wrong with that? You're the king of Sturdio, Albert. Why did you take such a risk? Oh, well, huh. Uh, I might be, it might be self-gratification. However, I would like to settle my friend's score my own hands. We are pursuing a man who, who manipulated the war of Surya from behind the scenes. My friend was killed by that man. At the same time, the moon gym, which belonged to Surya and was inside my chest, was taken away. We have different reasons. However, we are all linked to that man and, well, here we are. You said the moon gym. There's a legacy of the winglings, isn't it? Yeah, and I kind of had it in my chest, and it was kind of taken out by this. Uh, could you please tell us about the Moon Dagger, Your Majesty? The thing that you kind of got stolen on our watch. Okay, okay. Um, so it was after the Dragon Campaign. Humans defeated the Winglies and the built Sergio, Tiberia, and Mele. Mele, Sele? Words. They say the few surviving Winglings sent a divine object of the moon as a proof of peace to the three countries. That's all I know about the legend. I mean, they weren't really writing it down. We just kind of tell it by mouth to mouth. Oh, we have the same legend in our country. What is dangerous is that we humans don't know what the divine moon object is for. We are idiots. Also, because there's no magic, so we kind of like... It, probably that the magic is... Abracadabra, so. You mean the Winglies know everything and formed this entire conspiracy? 1100 years in the making? Okay. Father, we have to take the Moon Dagger back. Before the stars that have beheld Tiberia are lost in the shadows. Ah, it seems the girl of the Winglings got away in the. To Melissa Bay. Now it's time for an appearance by Commander Polu. Hold on. I will send the most powerful warship that Tiberia has. The Queen Fury. Have Commodore Polar pursue her. Of course, you are more than welcome to be on the boat. I mean, you're the kind of the ones who can stop me from acting for getting her so she stole it, so it's not my fault. Honestly, it was the first time I seen a wheelie. She was very cute. I mean, I mean a, in a very dangerous way. I mean, she... You know what? I'm gonna stop talking. Just...
Well, there you have it. We are... But the man. I'm honestly, I'm surprised nobody just thought that the person who could fly in battle with wings wouldn't jump off the damn, you know, balcony. I don't know. I'd like... That'd be like the first thing I'd do. I'd be like, you know what? I don't even need to fight you. I, I'm going to toss out this destructive orb of magic, which I have because, you know, I ha I'm magic. And I'm just going to fly away. I don't need to fight you, but I mean, yeah. Well, anyways, uh, as... Ooh, yeah, I forgot Rose is nearly dead. Um, with all that said, well, thanks for joining me here for off Frame Games. And as I continue to play Legend of Dragoon, those who have stuck around for this long, yeah, I do promise that I'm going to finish the game, provided my computer holds out and provided life it doesn't get in the way, but I will be back with tomorrow's episode of Legend of Dragoon. Anyways, leave a like if you enjoy the content, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think, and of course, hit that subscribe button with that little bell because YouTube wants to be weird, and of course, I'll see you guys later.